I mean, this is pure turtle sex. Like, you can call it whatever you want, but this, look at this, just, what is happening anymore? This is the only issue with the Hyporex I've come to see. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Riot here showing you guys something very special today, something you've never seen before in Ark. Today, we are able to access the Isle Dinosaurs in Ark. Well, only like two of them right now, but probably not more in the future. This might be a very limited time thing, because unlike many other video games that have creatures ported into Ark, the Isle can be very litigious. Like, legally, they can be very... I mean, it's like, remember when I was all freaked out because we had Primal Carnage dinosaurs in here, and then, because um, it was it was getting yeah. out that a couple yeah. Isle devs were looking to press charges against the mod, or at least have the mod taken down because one of them worked on Primal Carnage as well. I don't know, they've... They're very sketchy. They could be like open ground because we have Godzilla coming in from Godzilla 2014, the game. We have Monster Hunter creatures. We have creatures. We have freaking monsters from so many different games. We have Xenomorphs. We have so many different Pokemon. It's like you'd think most games I've never even seen any issues, anything get filed. But I'm a little worried about these The Isle Dinosaurs for sure. Just had to get that out there before beginning this video. This mod is not actually widely acceptable. I was messaged by an anonymous mod developer who had created it and who wanted to see a video made of it but didn't want his own identity exposed or his mod made public because it's most likely going to be sued or something. There's like, it's just kind of a thing. So the first one behind me is the Utah Raptor. Check out this sexy bastard right now. Look at the size of this guy. He towers over you. Actually a beautiful creation. This um, These creatures, I guess, say to be resized resolution-wise for them to look this pretty in arc. I guess there's different, like, standard standards i should say just for each of the different games but here we do we finally have the freaking utah raptor in in arc and of course since it's a the isle dinosaur you pretty much become it once you're riding it or once you are so it's literally like i'm playing the isle in arc right now i mean running on top of there sitting on this dinosaur as it runs there's literally little to no difference this creature also has but nothing stamina you gonna make it across the water buddy look how beautiful that swimming animation is See, I haven't recorded the aisle regularly in a long time. I did like one random video of a battle maybe a month ago and nothing before that for like three or four months. Because I've just, I did weekly videos, videos like three, four a day for like over a year for the aisle, but like nothing changed. Everything kind of started limiting or getting very limited. There was just barely any new deep dinosaurs coming in. Nothing ever changed. Even right now, one of the biggest updates ever is that you could swim again. Like swimming's like a huge thing. That's why this guy has a swimming animation, I'm presuming. It's actually a very perfect swimming animation too. But then like, I, I know a lot of you guys obviously remember the aisle like a year ago when swimming was a regular thing and then they just kind of took it out, I assume because whenever you'd kill people or get close to killing people, they would just jump into the water and then you couldn't eat them and everyone was like starving and dying that way. So they got rid of swimming. I don't know, there should just been a, an anime, I don't know. It couldn't have taken more than like a month or two to implement, implement an animation where you could drag a body over to out of the water or something you know what i mean i assume then there'd be the issue arising of if you're a big enough creature to drag the body on over to land but i don't know it's just weird that one of the main updates is like something that was there a year ago either way the Isle's obviously an amazing game there's literally no game even remotely like it so that's a very cool thing like there's many reasons why the Isle will always be one of the best dinosaur games because it's like the best game where you get to literally simulate as a dinosaur so i don't have to defend I can pretty much just give my honest opinion. We already all know the Isle's an awesome game. I could just say why the hell it's maybe been dropping a little bit in the past six months. Okay, we barely do any freaking damage, don't we, buddy? What's your base stats? Level 28, 320 health. He's actually a very weak creature. The Utahs implemented here aren't they? Yeah, dude, look at that. It's just so beautiful. It looks like such a natural in arc. Like it was just meant... Like, this creature's just been in a cage this entire time, and now we finally set it free with all the other dinosaurs. <laughs> no, it just looks this way because Ark's much more vibrant. Everything's much, like, much greener, much purpler. All the colors are much more, like, prettier? I don't know. To be honest, I just recorded this video an hour ago, and then I noticed I recorded it without audio, so now I haven't eaten all day, and now I'm feeling a little goofy. This is usually when I try and find food, so excuse my slightly retarded commentary. Either way, here's the Utah Raptor. It's in here and we don't know for how long now here lies the question of which i actually forgot to do this in my last video so this is perfect that i redid it because this would have sucked to go the video without it which raptor is stronger at their base level stats level 28 level 28 there's so many differences in between these two and i understand the utah raptor is supposed to be like the jurassic park raptor for the most part which isn't supposed to, which isn't exactly how raptors were meant to look but 
Of course, they had to fill in missing gaps in the DNA with other creatures, other animals, so of course it's not going to look like the exact version. Obviously, this one looks a lot more realistic just because it has feathers on it, but I do like how both their feet, both their feet are the exact same. They got that freaking retractable claw. That's like the most, actually, is that even retractable? It never detracts, so it's, if anything, it's just a giant, just a giant scary toenail, I should say. Did I say detracts? That's exactly what I mean by being goofy with like the with the vocabulary right now. One thing I'm really curious though, I assume there's some serious dinosaur experts out there in the comment section. Which one got the arms more realistic? And I don't mean the feathers. Obviously, like I'm, I'm a little. I, every time I say something that I write about dinosaurs, it turns out to have been disproved like a year ago. But I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be covered in feathers. These prehistoric chickens. But which one got the arms better? Which one got the arms? Which are the arms more reclusive like that, or are they just dangle low like he's on spring break? It was a weird time for a penis joke. Uh, do they both do seem to have the same size hands though? Generally large hands. Big fisted creatures! I suppose that's the only thing I'm really curious about between these two. Other than that, which one will win in a fight? But that's about to be answered right about the mail. Alright, let it rip, gentlemen. The ladies. Who are you? You a choking, he's just beating on a chick. Oh, real decent, everybody. See, it's okay, they're both showing heavy damage indication. Obviously, the damage indication isn't sticking to the raptor as well. You'll actually- Oh, Jesus Christ! But just barely. You just barely won that. I feel like I can finish you off with my fists. That's what she said. But, um, yeah, you'll notice a few bugs like the damage indication not exactly sticking to the Utah raptor. It's because the mod dev only put so much work into both of these creatures being ported in. Because you don't know how long they're gonna last. Literally, there's- I don't think this video could be taken down. I'm pretty sure, because I'm not, like, recording- I guess I'm recording unlicensed content. But they're not- I don't know. Like, the sounds aren't the same. He took sounds out just to get that little thing out of there. You can't get angry over the sounds being ported in, because it's not your- not your aisle noises. Alright, up next is the Hypo Rex. Definitely one of the creatures that had to be ported in. It's, like, the aisle's main beauty. It's their prized creation, and it is pretty damn amazing. Look at this bad boy. The funny thing about this one, though, is it's about Rex T-sized. Or T-sized. T-Rex sized. Damn it, words. It's not like this giant OP crazy hypo Rex as it usually is in the aisle. Not to mention, when he walks forward, gravity kind of yanks down and he just crouches. He's a crouch walker. It's what he does. But if you look, he's, he's actually pretty damn perfect to the cue. Like, he's extremely beautiful. A good amount of work had to be done to kind of just make sure it got up to arc, like, resolution standards. What's really bugging me about my vocabulary right now is I keep saying like. I sound like a 13-year-old valley girl. It's driving me crazy. But yes, okay, so what do you have, buddy? Level 52? Let's see, these guys are kept at pretty standard vanilla stats. Like, damn it, I said like again. They could easily be implemented into a world with little to no issues. Maybe a few little bugs tweaked here and there. Just if it officially got the green light that it was not going to be taken down or anything. Which it shouldn't. I mean, not gonna lie, like all those people out there, all you guys who went forever without playing Monster Hunter, and then you saw those Monster Hunter monsters being added to Ark, it probably made you go back and play Monster Hunter a bit. I completely forgot Pokemon existed until like the Pokemon creatures were added. It just hasn't been something I paid attention to in years. I mean, he looks so awesome just implemented into Ark. I don't see why the Isle Shadow problem with this. So many other games have let it happen, and all it does is like raise popularity for their own game. Although having this be having a tamed hypo rex would be so great. Look at this guy just in nature. Oh shit, I think he's got the standard rex roar, in fact, just to keep things completely chill. I think the mod dev might have thought the hypo rex is supposed to just be like a standard T-Rex size. And that's why it's not like a giant boost. See, one issue with the hypo rex though, unfortunately, god, that's such a cool little see, it doesn't have a noise for when it levels up, but it has a little animation to do his whole fancy thing. Is his damage indicator is a little off. It's like hard for this one's not nearly as complete as the Utah Raptor. That's for shizzle. There's some differences with this guy. He doesn't actually have the. See, this is the thing. This is what I've come to realize to be like fact is when you try and sick him on things, he just goes and bangs them. Like this is pure rapage. You send him to attack something, and he just mounts it and continues to do perverted things the entire time. Look at this guy. This is the hypo. He's a lot hornier in Ark than he is in the Isle. He's not nearly... I mean, this is... I mean, this is pure turtle sex. Like, you can call it whatever you want, but this... Look at this. Just... Look what is happening anymore? This is the only issue with the Hypo Rex I've come to see. Unfortunately, it's a very big issue, in fact, if your creature refuses to attack things and instead tries, like, dry humping them from behind. I mean, I'd call that a pretty big flaw. Of course, there's little to no reason to fix this flaw. 
because there's a chance that the whole mod might just be removed immediately after this video is posted. It's a whole thing we got going on here. Come on, buddy. I want to see if you, um... Oh, he looks so cool coming at us. I mean, he's probably just going to rape us when he gets to us, which ma which raises the fear factor a lot, but damn, does he look awesome tearing through the landscape. What a beautiful creature. Props to the aisle. This, the Hyporex has always been a magnificent thing. All right, goes right for the testicles. I like your strategy, buddy. See, what's trying to happen, he's trying to mount it. He's doing his best to mount it, but the creature's just too big for him. Oh, he's getting in there. He's getting right up in there. Oh, he's now being mounted. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. If you can't be in charge, then you let the other one be in charge. You're just a degenerate. You're just a degenerate T-Rex is what we're looking at. Hypo Rex stands for Hyperactive Pervert Rex in Ark Survival Evolved. It's just, it's just the way things are going. He doesn't really have the ability to, to attack small thingies. His hitbox is just all over the damn place, which makes it super goofy. Come on, buddy. Try and eat the little feller. See, the hypo is just kind of weird when brought into Ark. I mean, he's just kind of chewing on his own damn toenails and humping creatures. He's... I don't, I don't want to use the word, okay, I'm not going to use any words that might offend people a lot, but I mean, oops, he's just, he's just a retarded rapist. I'm sorry I said it. I know a lot of people get mad when I use the word retarded because they think I'm offending mentally, so like, disordered people. People with mental disorders, mentally disordered people. Well, well put, Johnny. Little do you guys know, I actually have a cousin with autism and another cousin with cerebral palsy, and that's the last thing I mean on the planet. I'm just changing the meaning of words. Gay also doesn't refer to homosexuals anymore. It refers to lame things. We're changing the vocabulary to be less offensive. Words should not apply to people. They should apply to th things and actions. That's just mean when they apply to people. Dude, this, when he fights a parasaur, this is where the rape really comes into play. Like, this is where it gets, this is where it gets dirty. Because it's like the perfect size proportion. Look at he just gets right up on that creature. Just, oh my god, it's, 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 it's just disturbing at this point. Cause he's got his, he's got his legs completely spread around the torso. I mean, he's climbing on up there. Like, they've been married for years and he's been off in a war for four years. And now he finally sees his wife and it's just like... Like, Jesus Christ, we're in public. Shameful to do that and to spread your legs that wide in private. You're the man and you're on top. How does that even work? So here you see the T-Rex against the Hypo-Rex. It's actually, a, actually, no, when he stands up, when he's not, when he's being mounted. See, that's a little turd right there. Like, that is like a silly size for proportion right there. This, of course, would obviously be tweaked too, but the mod's no doubt going to get pulled off because Isle devs are undoubtedly going to get mad that these creatures are being used without their permission in another game. Even though, and I keep emphasizing this point, so many other games allow it to happen. There's no way that all those games don't notice. That Monster Hunter mod has so many downloads and views. Unique visitors and that Pokemon mod, both of them straight up went viral for like a week all over Facebook, everything. So there's no way they didn't see it and go, that's just good ass advertisement. Many differences between these two. There's no point in asking you guys what's real about it because this creature never existed in life. That's just not a thing. But I already know the outcome of this fight. I know it's actually I'm kind of forgetting it now that I think about it. But this one's got such a narrower little mouth. Look at that. Look at wide jaw over here. I love the differences. It's just so damn cool. I can't wait to see them rip each other apart. All right, gentlemen. Jesus Christ, hypo! You better not try and mount him. I swear, buddy. There is a time and a place. Look, he's just. What is this little in and out insert? And in, in, what is this? this is, this is just the most sexual fighting creature I've ever seen implemented in the arc. It's actually hilarious. See, if the owl devs were less litigious, they'd put more work into this, and it wouldn't just be trying to dry hump and bang everything. Because, trust me, it's as weird for me as it is for you guys. <laughs> this was not supposed to be the point of the video. I just don't even understand life anymore at this point. I mean... I feel like my eyes aren't meant to see such horrible things. And he just eventually kind of dies in there. That's like some, what kind of, what kind of arachnid does that after love making and like egg laying and just die? I guess a few arachnids do it, but that's, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Once the man is done, there's no need for him and we eat his flesh. Damn, feminazis. Oh, damn it, I was hoping you were a female. It would have made the joke so much more better. So much better, not more better. That doesn't make any sense. So anyways, there's the Utah and there's the Hypo. The Utahs I love so damn much. Obviously the Hypo is amazing too, just needs a little bit more work, but obviously again, like what's the point there? These guys though, they're just so- don't even try biting at my raptors. Don't even try that. I'm just looking at them all running together in a pack. It's so perfect. I feel like I'm playing the aisle when I see them all just- oh my god, look at this one. When I see them all just run and attack as a pack together, it's exactly like the aisle. 
See, they don't have the ability to jump up and claw onto the side of the creature, which would make a huge difference. Oh my god. That would be amazing if they poured it over the Ostro Raptors and then like brought in that old school animation that they took out for some just weird unknown reason where the Ostros were able to jump up on the side of things and scratch and claw so their stamina ran out. That would be so great implemented into any game. I wonder if they still have the animation because if so they could possibly be brought over. Either that or like the Acrocanthosaurus. I think that one would be the other really cool option because that's just a great big old sexy dino that we don't even have in this game and that would just be on. I feel like that would be the third coolest. I don't know. Comment down below if it doesn't get taken down which dinosaur you'd like to see added next. I can't guarantee anything. Can't even guarantee this video will stay up for more than a week, but it is what it is. So yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I shall see you next time. Peace! Yeah.